Thanks, David Swanson, Gillespie Avenue. Uh, you know, we've heard this evening appreciation for programs from the Department of State, the EPA, the PBS, people in need of housing. But if we only talk about that, then people hear us and misunderstand and they think we're talking about the size of the government and they declare that Trump is turning off the money flow to the wasteful spending. Absolute nonsense. Let's be crystal clear here. Donald Trump has proposed the exact same budget, the exact same size government, but he wants to move huge amounts of money out of everything that we care about, that we've heard appreciation for, into the military. If we don't say that, people misunderstand. And this is the, the point of this council having the courage to say both sides of this argument. Uh, so this is not a, a big, small government debate. I want massive increases to all those programs we've heard appreciation for this evening and a drastically smaller government. How is that possible? Because Donald Trump is proposing 60 to 65 percent of discretionary spending go to one thing, the military, more wars. The thing that he says correctly, blurting out the obvious as he occasionally does over the past 16 years, has created a hornet's nest out of the Middle East, made us less safe, not more safe draining our money, this you know, fiscal responsibility of dumping all our grandchildren's unearned pay into the one department that's never audited, into the Department of So-Called Defense, that makes us less safe, not more safe. The United States is, is putting well over $700 billion into this one little program. There are only 20 countries in the world that hit $10 billion. Nine of them are in NATO. Another eight of them are close U.S. allies. Three of them are potential U.S. allies if we took a different course. One of those three, Russia, the, the, this great fear, this demon out there to get us, has dropped its spending on the military in the last three years from $70 billion down to under $50 billion. This is their, this is their evil plot to dominate the world. Uh, so when, when we look at something like this Gallup poll that shows people around the world seeing the United States as the greatest threat to peace on earth. And we dare to mention that. It's not because we're cheering for it. It's not because we want that to be the case. It's because we want to start the process of changing that, of bringing people things they find helpful rather than occupying armies. Here we are today, 14 years since shock and awe, since this incredible destruction of a city that began an incredible destruction of a country and a region and U.S. troops still killing people in Iraq, and in Syria, and in Afghanistan, and in Yemen. Endless, endless warfare. It's time we took a stand. I, I'd like everybody, if you could, to stand up if you support moving money in the opposite direction from that proposed by Donald Trump, from the military to human and environmental needs. Thank you. Thank you. Paul, Paul Nelson.